Hi, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and uh, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on the world famous Mosquito Lagoon in the Oak Hill, Edgewater, New Smyrna Beach, Cocoa Beach, Daytona Beach area. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, casting a spinning rod and reel. Um, other than a fly rod, um, uh, fly rod setup, eight weight, whatever we use out here, seven weight, most almost all the fishing that is done out here is done with a spinning rod and reel combination. Uh, this is a Shimano Sustain 2500 St. Croix Legend Elite rod and reel. Um, 10 pound braid back with 15 pound fluorocarbon on this particular setup. Uh, sometimes we use Stratic, I, I personally either use Stratic or Sustain 4000s, 2500s, tarpon fishing 6000s. Um, we don't typically use bait casters out here just for the fact that um, it, you just can't cast light little lures on a bait caster. Uh, a couple things I just want to go over with you basically is for those of you coming down here, when you're casting a spinning rod and reel, you want to be able to manage it correctly. The line management, um, the casting technique and everything. The first thing I want to show you is this bale will always flip, barely grab the line, always flip to the right. You want this line theoretically to be parallel to the rod. As you can see I'm holding it, you don't want to need to pinch it, but you want this bale to flip right to the right. You don't want to flip it this way, grabbing it like this, this, you don't want to flip it like this to the left. I always like to tell people think right is right. So you want this piece lined up to the top, right like that. Uh, the other thing is when you're making a cast out here, um, flip the bale to the right, always a two-handed cast. When I'm casting, you with two hands, think of this as a rifle, where this line goes out of the tip, wherever this tip points, theoretically, that's where your bait should go. So if I'm casting out that way, see it went straight out ahead. Um, the other thing is that I try to flip the bale by hand. Um, it's a good technique to do. If you, if you throw it out there like that, and you don't flip it by hand, if it's windy, you have five, six, whatever feet line coming out. Now you gotta crank that in or grab it like this. You're doing one of these, and by this time, when you're throwing it at targeted fish out here on the flats, the, uh, it can be off target. All that slack, the wind grabs it, the current grabs it, the, you know, not current, but the waves. Two-handed cast, nice and easy. Flip it by hand, doesn't even give it a chance to uh, sink or anything. I know it's tough to see the cast out there and all that, it's almost impossible. But basically, just in a quick nutshell, uh, just like a golfer doesn't hit a golf ball one-handed, a baseball player doesn't hit a bat, uh, ball one-handed, um, why would you cast a spinning rod or any type of fishing reel one-handed? You go one-handed and you just can't get the targeted shots, you know. You're not going to get the distance. You're not going to get the, the control over it. It's all about control. Picture a fish, one fish, 25 feet in front of me. The hand, my hand, is his head. If when you're casting out here and you're throwing to these fish, you see them out there, Put that up like that and get it on top of the water. You can move your arm to the right or left to guide it to the fish's mouth. Whether you're with somebody else, by yourself, or a guide, in order to see the bait, you want to be able to see where the bait's at in relative position to the fish's mouth. There's a key out here and anywhere you fish. The tail does not eat. So once again, let me show you this here. This bale is going to flip to the right. See, I'm barely grabbing it. You don't have to pinch it like that. You can barely grab it. Two-handed cast. See, I'm holding it. It's really simple. Let's see if I can get the camera here. Two-handed cast. Uh, there's a little white feather out there. I don't know if you can see it. I came one inch from bringing it across that little feather out there floating. Eh, probably 40 feet out, 35 feet out. Practice. Um, you don't have to live on the water to do this. Uh, put your weight on, practice in your yard. If you have access to a, a pond or a lake or whatever, 
practice the cast. Flip that bale by hand, doesn't even give it a chance for that bait to sink. Um, we're using light tackle out here. Uh, sometimes the same tackle that you would use for bass, bluegill, crappie. Um, you know, these fish range anywhere between, you know, one, two pounds. There's 30, 40 pounders out here. You manage it right, you will get these fish in. One thing I see is when I put the rod and reel in a client's hand, is they do this. <laughs> these rods are not meant to bend, bend like that. They're meant to bend, they're meant to bend this direction. Um, I'm using, this is just rigged with a DOA here, a cow. Uh, I like to rig mine weedless. You can see it right there. Just a little bit of bullet weight, a little hook on there. Uh, fluorocarbon leader right there. That's uh, I think 15 pound leader. So again, real quick, basic line management. This is a quick course. Is the bale flips to the right, and as we're going, you're going to make the cast. There's a feather again right in front of the boat. I don't even know if you can see it. Maybe 30 feet of the boat, 10 feet off the bank, 15 feet off the bank. And throw towards it. Basically, in a nutshell. Again, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, located here on the Mosquito Lagoon, East Central Florida. Have a great day.